Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I am a flight attendant. And today we are working a stand-up. Um, basically means I'm working the last flight out of Salt Lake tonight and then the first flight back in tomorrow morning. So I'm technically on duty all night. So some airlines call this an ODAN. My airline calls it a stand-up. I did one last night. Um, but I forgot to bring my camera. Sorry. Last night, our overnight was to Ontario, California. And believe it or not, it was a fairly full flight. And today we are going to Kalispell, Montana. <laughs> so before we get into the video, I kind of just wanted to address something really quick. It's not my business or any other flight attendant's business to ask passengers why they're traveling and stuff like that um however the number of people that were still traveling yesterday was very alarming to me i am very grateful that we are still in business and still have a job especially to transport those essential workers i had a travel nurse who had been in new york city kind of helping with um kind of aiding them set up different facilities and then she'd been quarantined for a couple weeks. Now she's flying back home. So that was kind of neat to talk to her about her experience. I just want to say this. Um, if you are able to stay home, it really means a lot. This is just a very difficult situation. Um, some of us need to work still. And in order to do so, we risk being exposed. So for those of you who are at home and self-quarantining, thank you. I really appreciate it. And hopefully this is all over soon. And I can't wait to fly you all to your spring breaks, your belated spring breaks or summer vacations after this is all over. Standing at Starbucks buying drinks for all of the crew members and handing out handmade masks and that is what we need in this world. Hi friends, uh, we finally made it to Kalispell. Like I said, this is a stand-up. We're already scheduled to have minimum, like way reduced rest. So normally we're supposed to have eight, nine, ten hours of sleep. Typically on a stand-up you get like four to six. Don't quote me on that. So anyway, I had four passengers on my flight tonight from Salt Lake City to Kalispell. Um, so there really wasn't a whole lot to do in the way of service. We are just giving out those little snack baggies that I showed you guys. That's about it. Most people just wanted to like keep to themselves, which I totally understand. Something that I hadn't seen before when we did get to Kalispell, there were military um, people taking temperatures when passengers got off the airplane. That was new. I haven't seen that happen yet. And then, uh, we did get in pretty early, so our van was not at the airport waiting to pick us up, so it took about 45 minutes for the van to come and get us, take us back to the hotel, and when we got to the hotel, the hotel did not know that we were coming. <laughs> they didn't have rooms for us, so another... 25 30 minutes for them to figure that out finally got up to my room took a shower washed off all the germs 
and took off all my makeup and I heated up my dinner. I made myself like a copycat Olive Garden minestrone, which actually turned out really well if I do say so myself. I'm trying to stay healthy, you know, so lots of vegetables in there. And uh, yeah, it's about 1.15 a.m. now and my van time is at 5.55 tomorrow, so we get up around 4.55, so that's three and a half hours of sleep. So we're just gonna take a three and a half hour nap. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're back in Salt Lake. I'm gonna go home and go to bed. <laughs> It is 9.30 a.m. April 5th. I just finished my stand-up. We just flew back in from Kalispell. Yes. I had about 22 passengers. I will say, out of 22, about 21 of them had their own masks on. And one lady was in a full-on hazmat suit. So things are getting crazy out here. Every day there are less and less people on my flights. The airport is less and less crowded. They're canceling flights left and right. So yeah, I'm on reserve for the rest of the month. So as of right now, I don't have any more assigned trips. I'm sure they will give me something else because we have quite a few flight attendants take the voluntary time off. I mean, there are, are a good amount, but not a crazy amount of us that are still working out of Salt Lake right now. I am tired. I just don't sleep on stand-ups. <coughs> this is not the coronavirus. This is my asthma. Yeah, I don't think I updated you since my last video when I, um, or maybe it was two videos ago. I think it was two videos ago. I told you how I was having lots of problems breathing. Here's something that I don't think a lot of people know. Utah is beautiful. There are mountains everywhere. However, the air here is so polluted because Salt Lake City sits in the valley, so no air really flows <coughs> through here. And there's always smog. So the culprit of my breathing problems is Asthma. I'm still, you know, getting used to just having a hard time breathing here in Utah. It is getting better because now I have medicine that is helping me. I don't think it'll ever be perfect while I'm here. But anyway, that is the end of my trip. That's it for this video. Oh my gosh, why am I so bad at this? Okay, so that's gonna be the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I am now uploading every Thursday, so. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.